Hey folks, it's SW here with a uh, another video. This video is gonna be um, you know, the ultimate plot twist. The Cleveland Cavaliers are okay with losing LeBron James. Now, LeBron James is the best player in the world. I mean, the greatest player in the world. And he, as soon as he came back to the Cleveland Cavaliers, they were automatically a championship contender. They end up winning a championship a second year back. And things were going great. However, they've lost Kyrie Irving by trading him away. The team is the worst it's been, and he could leave in free agency. But maybe that's what the Cleveland Cavaliers want. Now, by tr now let's go back to David Griffin. So David Griffin, before you know, he was let go from the Cleveland Cavaliers. He was working on trades to get you know Paul George, Carmelo Anthony. Know, really good players uh, but he was you know he was let go he never got to finish the deal LeBron James was pissed and LeBron James is also pissed because they got Isaiah Thomas um, instead of you know Eric Bledsoe you know or other guys that were pretty good that were available to them now I'm gonna say this the Cleveland Cavaliers because LeBron James is not, you know, he doesn't commit long term, they're thinking of the future. They traded away Kyrie Irving for the Nets pick mainly, and also Jay Crowder, because they know that in the long run, they could lose LeBron James and Kyrie. Even if Kyrie Irving decided, you know, you know he had, he had to stay, they weren't going to trade him away. He could say, I'm not going to stay in free agent if the, even if uh, LeBron James leaves. So they could lose Kyrie Irving and LeBron James for nothing. The team would be trash. But trading away Kyrie Irving, they get, they mainly wanted the Nets pick. And they also have Jay Crowder, who's been struggling this year, but he is a viable small forward in the case they lost LeBron. You also get as a bonus Isaiah Thomas to compete now. But that Nets pick is huge because they can get a really good player in this draft, assuming it falls, you know, pretty high. Now, the next thing, you know, why are they okay with losing LeBron? Well, notice how they haven't fired Tyron Lue, despite the fact that he's the worst coach in the league. Why they haven't made trades to get Eric Bledsoe or DeAndre or Jordan or George Hill yet. They haven't, you know, they've said they're okay with using the Nets pick but only for a young player. I should tell you that they want a young guy that's going to be around for a while, either to entice LeBron or to prepare for losing LeBron James. So the team is not that good now. If they lost LeBron James, they have the worst coach in the NBA. You know what that means? They could tank. They can tank and try and get a really good player in the next draft. That's that draft supposed to have Zion Williams, Gimson, Bol Bol, you know, a lot of good young prospects. So you're going to have a really good prospect in 2018, a really good prospect in uh, 2019. Let's not forget, the 2019 free agency class is stacked. So even if they lost LeBron James, they would have a Kevin Love, they would have a decent small forward in Jay Crowder, whatever, you know, two young guys they really have and they might have money but you know they have to do some moves to get some cap space that a free agent would want to sign for that team you know a good team with you know Kevin Love's having a good season they have a decent defender that can take pressure off of them and you have two rising young guys and what, what if LeBron James stayed you know you never know but if they lost LeBron James they have a lot of a good chance to have a competitive team in the long run, as opposed to, you know, using all their assets and all their money right now trying to compete, and they still lose LeBron James. So I think that's the ultimate cut. I mean, you look at the list of free agents. You, I mean, you could get like a Clay Thompson. You can get, if you're lucky, maybe Carmelo Anthony. I mean, they could get DeAndre Jordan if he was available. There's a lot of good players available in 2019. So for them. To try and you know win now is not the great the right option. They should be preparing for the future. You know they have a chance with enough money. 
a good player will still sign in Cleveland, especially when they have good pieces. Like if you got a really good pick 2018, a really good pick in 2019, and you have money, a, a really good player would sign there. So they're looking for the long term. They're not concerned at the loss of LeBron James. Of course, LeBron James on your team is a good thing, but they're not, you know, they're not belly aching over it. If they lose him, they're trying to prepare for the long run. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to leave a like, subscribe, comment. Thank you.